Graham Morris. Uh, th thank you. Well, happy birthday, <coughs> Minister. But can I, uh, I thank you for the last answer, but can I respe respectfully bring to your attention the experience shared by Stephen Anderson, who provided evidence to the Transport Select Committee very recently, and he, lighted, he highlighted this issue, and he said, if I require assistance, I need a designated point to approach, rather than having to call out for help on the platform. In essence, Stephen believes ticket office closures are merely a means to cut staff. As, di as a disabled passenger impacted by previous government policy, Stephen's view was echoed by other witnesses, including Baroness, Baroness Tanny Gray Thompson. Does the Minister share their concerns? Yeah, yeah. Minister. Mr Speaker, well, can I thank my honourable friend? Uh, uh, and I enjoy w all the work that I do with him. And I, I do take the point that he makes with regards uh, to Stephen. But I, I passionately believe, Mr Speaker, that the best help uh, anyone can give in a rail station is when they have personal um, interaction. And that is very difficult when somebody is behind a glass screen. They're not able to then yeah. exit that point and then go and help. And what was striking, Mr Speaker, was that the Office of Rail and, R Rail and Road, in their recent report uh, on accessibility, um, showed that six there had been a 68% increase in passenger assist demand at stations. So, on that basis, and because fewer people are purchasing tickets from the um, ticket uh, office now, only one in ten, it surely makes sense to put the staff out on the platforms where they can be accessed, where they can help people and reassure people uh, and give them more assistance.